Hey everyone, it's Karen with A Day in a Life with Karen and Sarah. And I wanted to pop on real quick and do a real quick vlog while I'm waiting on Sarah. She's uh, currently taking an ASL class, so I'm in my hubby's van. So you see stuff in the background, so kind of ignore that. And while I'm waiting on her, and I just wanted to come on, oh, excuse me, and show you my uh, Trim Healthy Mama meal plan. It's not perfect. I'm just starting. And I, uh, so when you see it, you're not going to see anything for Monday because really I just started planning today and I went ahead and, um, let me show it to you. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll kind of show it to you a little bit. There you go. So here it is. And I put my fuel source down at the bottom, whether it's a satisfying meal and energize, you know, an email or a fuel pool um, on my menu so I can keep track. I don't know how many of you have started the Trim Healthy Mama journey, but I am just starting. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to get healthy and to get healthy for my family and to get even, even get my family uh, even on the healthy side. We've had um, a couple of years of a journey in our home with the loss of parents and um, older, you know, taking care of older parents and, and, you know, just being a caregiver. And life has been really crazy for us the last couple of years. And I haven't been nearly as healthy as I would like to be. And we've been kind of in on this journey and I've really been been searching and praying about a way that um, I could get healthy, I could feel healthy, and um, still be able to cook for my family and not have to do, you know, a special meal for me and cook something else for them, but that we as a family could sit down together and enjoy a meal together and, you know, have that special evening and so that was really important to me. And I really began to pray about it and search for it. And, you know, the Lord laid on my heart, Trim Healthy Mama, and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for this journey. Um, Sarah's excited because, you know, it's a new way of cooking and, and things like that. And so we're just, we're excited about it. I have, I didn't bring it with me. I left it at home. I meant to bring it with me and I forgot. I just recently purchased the new uh, Trim Healthy Mama plan book as well as the cookbook and I'm really, really excited. There is a ton of support. There are Pinterest ideas out there um, as far as, you know, looking for recipes for Trim Healthy Mama. I will admit I tried a recipe out of here and it was a total fail. I tried, um, and it was on my end. It wasn't the recipe. It was me. I was following it. I had never made it before. And I was, <laughs> I took it over to a friend's house and decided to make it over there, which was totally, again, my fail. I should have known better than to go to our friend's house and try a recipe that I had never done before. And it was just kind of funny. Everybody was really, really nice about it. Oh, it's really not bad. I'm thinking, yeah, it's horrible. But that was totally my fault and I could laugh at it. And I'm definitely going to try it again. And, and the other recipes that I've sort of played with with Trim Healthy Mama before I like decided to commit to trying this and going on this journey, I tried a few of the recipes and they have all been fabulous. I haven't had any fails other than this one. And again, it was my fault. I'm not exactly sure what I did other than it wasn't my food processor. You know, things weren't the way I, it wasn't my kitchen and things like that. So it was really, it was all on my end. I should have made it ahead of time and just taken it, but I didn't. So I'll try it again. Um, but I showed you, I gave you a glimpse into my meal plan for this week. And I have already started next week. What I like to do is um, I write it out in pencil because 
I make mistakes. I change my mind. I think, oh yeah, this sounds really good. And then I look at it again and go, maybe not. And so I go ahead and I start it in pencil so that I can erase, you know, as many times as I want till I find what I want. And then when I have the meal plan all done and for sure the way I like it, I go ahead and transfer it into pen. And this sheet at, it comes with a shopping list. I don't use this shopping list only because um, I just find it's a little small for me. I have an eight by five inch notebook that I like to keep my grocery list in. And I date my grocery list from week to week. And then I attach the receipt from that grocery list, um, from my grocery shopping list to that um, piece of paper that I made my list on so that we can kind of see how we're going as far as our budget and things like that, whether we're, you know, what we're actually spending on our food for the week, which is kind of helpful. Uh, the other thing I have is I have a, uh, uh, looks like an envelope expand a file that I also keep my receipts for the month in as well. And so if I don't attach my receipt from the, my grocery shopping there, it goes in the other uh, folder so that I can keep track and, and then we can see what we're actually spending on our food budget and whether we need to make adjustments and things like that. Everything that we otherwise that we spend for the month goes in that envelope and we can kind of see how our money's going and where it's going and make sure that we're spending it, the, you know, properly in the right way. So some of the things on my list for this week is tomorrow and Thursday or Tuesday and Friday of this week, we are having scrambled eggs and bacon, some fruit, and I'm going to have some coffee. Sarah will have, I don't know, water or something. Um, and then on Wednesday and Thursday, we're having like a shake for breakfast. Wednesday is our co-op day, and so we need to um, get out pretty quickly on Wednesday. And so we need to be quick, something quick that we can do, you know, so that we can get out. And then I'm going to make some savory protein muffins for Saturday. So we'll have those for Saturday morning. And then on Sunday, before we go to church, we just have to pop those in the microwave and warm them up and we've got breakfast. So that's really kind of nice. And we'll have some fruit. And again, I'll have coffee. I like my coffee in the morning. I drink one cup of coffee a day and that's with breakfast. And then um, for snacks, I have triple zero. Uh, that's really good. It's a fuel a fuel pool and so I have those a couple of days um, in the week Tuesdays and Thursdays I work for a local chiropractor and so I'm in the office then and so I like to have that with me because it's easy and um, and of course on Wednesday we have co-op so um, we're there and so whatever happens to be out happens to be the snack that we get and then I'm gonna do um, on Friday, I'm going to do an apple with just a teeny bit of peanut butter, natural peanut butter. Sunday, church, won't have a snack during church time. And then um, for lunch this week, we're doing on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays because I work in the morning. Sarah comes with me um, to work on school while I work in the doctor's office. I am blessed in that way. The chiropractor I work for, he is amazing because we don't see patients Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday morning. He allows me to bring Sarah in to work with me and that's just totally amazing. So we're just gonna have quick sandwiches when we get home on Tuesday and Thursday. We go out, we try and find something light on Wednesday because it's co-op and we're in co-op till 1230 and then Sarah has to be back for church. Um, and so Wednesday is kind of a quick day for us. And um, Friday we're doing uh, just like Campbell's tomato soup. And then on Friday we're doing single serve, or no, Saturday, I'm sorry. We're doing single serve lasagna in a bowl, which will be really good. That's Those are all S meals. Those are all satisfying meals. So you can see that I'm changing my fuel sources as the day go on, goes on. My snacks in the afternoon are either an E or a fuel pool. Um, I'm going to do an apple with a mozzarella stick that keeps it in that E range. I'm going to do that uh, tomorrow and then again on Thursday, on Wednesday and Friday I'm going to do a triple zero 
on Sunday Sunday afternoon I'll have a triple zero as well and then Friday I'm gonna do an apple with peanut butter and then tonight we had pulled pork green beans and a salad I didn't have any bun my husband and Sarah Rich and Sarah both had buns I did not um, tomorrow we're gonna have a we have some leftover pizza and I'm gonna go ahead and just take the take the pizza toppings off the crust I just won't eat the bread and a salad and some type of vegetable to go with it again Wednesday is a quick day for us because it's busy with co-op and church so we'll finish up the pulled pork um, on Wednesday Thursday I'm gonna make meatloaf with broccoli and salad we carry out on Friday that's my night that I don't have to cook my husband blesses me and says you know you've done it so let's skip so we'll try and do something that's an S. We're gonna do chili on Saturday. I'm gonna make chili, and then we can have that again for leftovers Sunday evening. And then my snack for the evening, if I really need one, I can go ahead and do that, but I'm not really sure that that's necessary, so I probably won't do that. I'm just gonna, not that one. I'm just gonna turn on a little bit of light because it's getting dark in here. But, um, so that's what we're gonna do. For this week, like I said, I've started my meal planning for next week. It's not something, ladies, that you can do in 10 seconds or even 10 minutes. It does take a little time. It does take some, um, there might even be some frustration. Try not to get too frustrated. Try not to get overwhelmed with this. It's, it's a great journey. And remember, it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. We're getting healthy. We're choosing to eat all kinds of food, fabulous food. So don't get discouraged. Be excited. If you have any questions about Trim Healthy Mama, leave them in the comment below. If you liked seeing a video on my meal planning, let me know. If you want to see more of how I meal plan, how I grocery shop, things like that, let me know. If you'd also be interested in a grocery haul to see what I actually pick up from the grocery store, let me know. I'd love, I'd be happy to put, put a video together like that. Any other questions, please leave in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hope you all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.